Yo, what's going on guys? Today, I'll be doing the tutorial on my cover of Daniel Caesar's song, Always. Uh, I know a lot of you guys in the comment section have been requesting this specific tutorial, and I finally come to it. So, uh, here we go. We're going to be dividing this into sections. We'll start off with uh, the shortest section, the intro. We'll go to verse 1, pre-chorus, um, the main melody of the song, and then uh, the outro or the bridge outro that I call it. Uh, but yeah, I just first before we start this tutorial, I, I want to thank everyone that has been supporting me on this channel. It's been a it's always been a lovely experience listening to y'all uh, enjoying my content. So I really appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure you drop a comment, and a like, and, and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet already. Uh, let's just start with the tutorial. So here we go. So let's start off with the intro. So um, it goes, uh, so we have an A chord right here. Um, you can feel this intro in 6 8. So it's. What's weird is because the intro, if we're filling it in three, four, six, eight, when we go into the actual main verses and melody of the song, it goes into four. Um, so the first chord of the intro is this A chord. I do a little grace note here between the B and C. So, and with this A, uh, with this G sharp right here. So, and then same notes on the right hand. The left hand, we're just gonna move the A down half step. So you got these five notes right here. And then we're going to uh, move down uh, to F sharp and C sharp for the next. And on the right hand we have an A and then the grace note B and C sharp again. So we got. And the next chord right here is uh, a D. And I like to do this octave thing right here. So D, A, D right here. And then we got F sharp, C sharp, D sharp. And the C sharp will be the grace note. So. Next chord would be, um, it could be two variations. Uh, one of them, I forgot what I did in the video, but it could be, uh, it could have been this. So it's an E, B, F sharp, A, D. Or you, uh, we can be, I think more accurate to the to the song. It's is this D minor chord right here, starting on the F, A, and a D. So basically the whole intro is this. Make sure you get these grace notes. And that's basically the whole intro. And uh, yeah, that's basically the intro. So let's move on to uh, the verses. So for, uh, for verse one, uh, as I mentioned um, in the beginning of the intro, that when we're transitioning, we're going from a 6-8 feel um, to this 4-4 four, four feel. Um, and I'll just play it very slowly uh, to begin with. So, so obviously we start the grace note that we use in the intro. So you can tell um, um, it's the same chord structure that we had 
in the intro we had the a we had the e uh e major starting on the g7 right here the uh f sharp minor seven or whatever it is i don't know uh voicing numbers this d chord uh this d minor chord over e um with the main melody concerning so like the with my right hand basically baby baby in terms of that um you can really fool around with it um and you can be very creative with how you play it especially complexity wise um but i think for particularly the first verse of this song i think it's very important to stay you know uh soft and say uh stay um uh easy with it um but yeah so so with the grace note right next chord i like doing the octaves thing so uh you have a g sharp e g sharp on my left hand my right hand we have a b e b so And this E note right here, right? This E note will automatically transition to the next chord, which is the F sharp minor seven. The octave thing again, uh, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. And then my right hand, you already had your whatever finger you have, you already had it on this E. Just add an E and A, right? So, uh, baby, baby. So you get right space for you and me. and then you can either do a triad this chord D chord right here uh, or you can do the octaves whichever one feels more comfort for you I would I would do that so space for you and me uh, right where you so. D chord, D A D, F sharp A D, C sharp, F sharp. This chord right here uh, is gonna be one out of the two transition chords into the next chord. So D, D, G sharp B, E. Uh, so there will always be space for you. This chord will go into the next chord, which is, I think, very essential to the song, uh, because you will find it throughout the entire like chords, verses, whatever. And it's just basically a D minor chord right here, D F A, and then B D, right? So. to this chord right here the a chord that we had in the beginning of the song uh and so i'll just finish up to the end of the verse uh i would not do the transition chord again uh so we'll look back and laugh just don't forget uh because the pre-chorus if you did this note to the pre-chorus it doesn't sound that great uh so just uh just start with and i'll play the verse again
And again, you can really fool around with the main melody of this song. Uh, uh, maybe sometimes you can switch between the octaves or the triads. Um, whichever one feels more comfortable, comfortable to you, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the structure for every verse in this song, or the two verses in the song, I should say. Uh, but verse 2 has something uh, a little different in the middle of it. Uh, but yeah, we'll move on to the pre-chorus of this song. Uh, and yeah. So the pre-chorus, uh, so we ended the verse 1. Uh, we'll look back and laugh, just don't forget it. And the reason why we should not use this transition chord again uh, is because the next notes of the song that may be humble. So, uh, so basically, we should not transition at all. <laughs> uh, we'll look back and laugh. Just don't forget. And maybe humble. So it's a C sharp minor chord right here. C sharp, G sharp, E, E, and maybe uh, Right here I have a D, A, and a D, E, F sharp, and I'm using my thumb for two fingers. So, for writing this song. Uh, so it's the same notes again, so it's the uh, C sharp minor. Uh, for writing this song, uh, instead of the uh, F sharp in the first line, we're going down to the minor. D F A D F. So it may be hum for writing this song, and then uh. I also like this voicing for that uh, for the when we go in the word song. So it's F C D F, uh, right? Uh, same notes as uh, the first line, but you add this over you. And this voicing it can it could uh, vary between a lot of people, but what I think what I did was um, I think in the video I did. I think I did this E right here. E, B, D, E, F sharp, A, C sharp. So, losing my head over you. And um, this would transition into the chorus. Um, and this is this is the same uh, chord structure for the pre-chorus after the second verse as well. Uh, and, and, yeah, let's let's move on to the main course of the song. So uh, now we're going to the main chorus, and we'll just we'll start off from the transition of the pre-chorus to this chorus. Uh, so losing my head over you. Um, that that part right there, where I'm trying to lead myself into the main melody, can can vary a lot between. Uh, people, uh, I what I what I would uh, recommend is that whatever you do there, it's easy to count in. So like, you lose your mind over you one two three four. So obviously it's four counts. Uh, I think. Um, so whatever you do, it's up to you how you want to style it. Uh, however you're playing this, I think the trend those like me that. Because in the video, that transition was a drum solo, right? So, um, however you're going to style this song to your personal liking, uh, it should really flow. And it should be a nice transition to the to the main melody. Uh, so, uh, losing my over you. Right, and then here, here's the main melody. So, is the A chord, and I'll be here. Uh, this E chord, uh, again, it's over the G sharp, E, G sharp. 
Cause we both know Cause uh so and I'll be here cause we both cause we both know G B C sharp E on the left hand. Uh on the right hand it's the same notes but instead of the E is the F sharp. So and I'll be here cause we both know how it goes and this uh F sharp chord major. Don't want things to change. Right. Uh, so, because we both know how it goes. I don't want things to change. So, it's a little uh, note by note thing on my left hand. Uh, uh, we can even go down a bit. Um, don't want things to change. Uh, so, every word. Don't want, or actually, you can do this. Don't want things to change. Um, you know, either way, as long as you, I think it's really nice to have that when you to get the word change, right? When you get to the word change, it's gonna be like that. So I don't want things to change. I pray, so I pray, is going to be this F minor chord, or D minor chord, I should, I should say, A, F, A, you can even add the, uh, the D right here, F, A, E, I pray they stay the same, C sharp minor chord right here, C sharp, G sharp, B, uh, E, G sharp, C, It's gonna be D F sharp A D E F sharp B and again D E I use one thumb. So I don't want things to change. Pray they stay the same always. And then the little chord chances in back into the A chord, just like how in the, in the, in the verses, uh, how we did the mini, uh, transition. Um, so, yeah, I think it's really important, so, I pray they stay, or I don't want things to change, I pray they stay the same, always. It's the same thing as we did in the beginning of this chorus. Just, just know I'm not a face. Always, ways, way, always. So, uh, just know I'm, I'll give you time and space. Just know I'm not a face. I'm always ways ways and then go back to the C sharp minor chord always this chord right here uh, D minor chord F A B so always ways ways go back to the C sharp minor always D major 7 right here And then the couple, these next couple chords go into the next verse. So, uh, always, ways, ways. So, E, B, E, A, B, D, F sharp, A. This chord is the next verse. Uh, so it's the octaves. C sharp octave, D octave, 
E octave. So always ways. One, two, right? You want a full chord, it's a E major chord. E, G sharp, B, E. Uh, and that'll be going into the next uh, uh, verse. So uh, right now, what I'll do is I'll play what we have so far from verse the intro to the end of the first chorus. So I'll put what we have so far uh, from the intro right here. I'll go very, I'll go slow. into the pre-chorus right here. That's basically all we got so far from the intro to the end of the chorus. Um, as you can tell, um, I'm doing a lot of chords from this point right here, and also a lot of octave and chord stuff from here as well. And I think if you can, if you know the chord structures that I'm telling you, you, I think you guys know how to transition from this spot to this spot. It's just one octave down. Uh, but um, but yeah, uh, let's move on to. Uh, uh, verse 2 um, uh, and let's talk about how this one's different from verse 1 I think the main difference from verse 2 is uh, the little stop time in this shock action they have here it's the same structure as verse 1 so if you want to rewatch that one you may uh, but I'll, uh, I'll re-instruct it on this one as well so uh, so that line is different so on Blower Street if you go up to the F sharp E Street oh what a time I still and I still remember the fuss in the fight in the fucking line so it's a lot of that uh uh for the for that line fussing fighting you know uh, it's just B and an A rotating, and uh, I think the chords in uh, I still remember the bass in the fighting. It's all over the G sharp E G sharp, right? So down blow horse street all by the time. And it 
goes to uh, lie and it's all, it's all fine. And it's over this G chordage, so. So G, B, G, E, F sharp, A, C sharp. So, and I still remember the post in the fight and the lion, it's all fine. Fine. So the word fine, I go to this G, A, B, D, E, F sharp, and the same notes up there with an A, F sharp, A, C sharp. It's all fine. You always be mine. It's all, it's all always be mine. I think this chord makes better sense. So it's an E, B, D, F sharp. You can move it down an octave. Again, with these chords, you can always move down if you want to, to make it more rigid and more, um, more full. You can add an A to that if you move down as well. And it goes to the pre-chorus. So again, uh, verse two is the only one that, that's a little different, uh, but basically the same structure. So you want to rewatch verse one. It's basically the same tutorial, uh, same structure for that for verse two. Uh, same thing with the pre-chorus and the main melody of the song. Uh, it's the same transitions and feel. Uh, so uh, I will not be doing the another you know uh, uh, tutorial on those parts again. Just rewatch those parts, uh, but I will. What I will do is I will um, instruct uh, or show you guys the outro, and then we'll play it from verse two to the end, and then we'll do the full thing once again. So with the outro, uh, um, so af after we're ending the chorus, right, and. Uh, you want it to flow again, uh, watch back to the chorus section of this video. Uh, so. Always, ways, ways. So it goes to this G chord. So E, F sharp, G. So. Three, four. Or actually, uh, always. Again, it's on uh, the four count. Th this is the one now, right? So that's the that's the transition. So you can count on as sure as the scars in the sky. So D chord. Back to the A chord. You can count. Uh, this is the next line. G B G A B D. That's the outro. It's basically the same chord structures for every single line. So, away. So G to the D chord. This is the D chord. Back to the A. You can count on as sure as the scars in the sky. And it's the same line for all four, except the, the last one. Uh, you end it like this. Or you can, I will be here. I think it's better to uh, end on that, the A right here, so. Always I will be here. And it's always the same chords. And basically the outro, you can just reuse the intro as the outro as well, uh, which is cool. But you, uh, if you're gonna be using it, this can be used at very different settings, so 
uh, obviously the way you can end it off it could be used as a transition to a different song as well uh, but it's up to your interpretation for the ending uh, but you just want to end it like strictly just independently uh, so I think the best way is just using the chords um, the same chords from the verses especially the intro uh, that will that will be the outro um, so let's play it from verse 2 to the end and and here we go as you can tell I'm, I'm uh, recording section by section so obviously if I'm repeating some lines that's the reason why so uh, <laughs> And yeah, so that's basically from verse two to the to the outro and how you're gonna end it. And obviously, if you're gonna end it with the intro, the the transition, you gotta make it smooth. From again, we were from a four four feel, from the main melodies lyrics of the song to the outro, where it's like a three four feel, six eight feel, whatever you, how you interpret it. Um, and again, I just want to state my left hand. I'm not always in the same spot. If I if what I'm showing you is from obviously one range. Um, I'm telling you, once you learn it from a certain range, you can extend wherever you want. Uh, as long as you get the main voicings uh, that I told you about for most of the chords that I mentioned, uh, you should be pretty good to go uh, to uh, interpret it the way you want on the left hand. In terms of the right hand, um, it's important to keep the main melody. Um, and also, you can add some little twinkles in there um, throughout the, the song uh, to spice it up if you want to. But yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be doing more of these tutorials in the future. Uh, leave some comments down below of what I could do better. Uh, I'm always here for you guys. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Continue supporting this channel. Uh, and I'll see you guys soon uh, with more uploads, more piano covers, more vlogs. Uh, and I'll catch you guys. Peace.